And now we have the topic of temperature and heat or calorimetry basically. Where in we look at the concepts of temperature, thermal expansion, temperature change, phase change, and modes of heat transfer. First, we have temperature. Basically, temperature is a quantity that is related to our sense of hot and cold. If we, want to, if we want to measure how hot an object is, we measure the temperature of the object. Hotness and coldness are relative concepts. We typically compare one object with the other. For instance, object A is hotter than object B, which means A has a higher temperature than B. We have the following temperature scales by which we measure the temperature of an object. We have the Celsius scale, the Kelvin scale, and the Fahrenheit scale. The Celsius scale is the metric system temperature scale, and its unit is in degrees Celsius. The Kelvin scale is likewise a metric system scale, and the unit is simply Kelvin. And we have the Fahrenheit scale, which is English system temperature scale, and the unit is degrees Fahrenheit. We can convert from one scale to the other by using the following equations. You can convert from Celsius to Kelvin and vice versa using Tc is equal to Tk minus 273.15. Tc is temperature in Celsius. Tk is temperature in Kelvin. You can convert from Celsius to Fahrenheit and vice versa using Tf is equal to 9 fifths Tc plus 32, wherein Tf is temperature in Fahrenheit. The lowest temperature is taken to be 0 Kelvin and is referred to as absolute zero temperature. Here you have following sample values of temperature. In particular, the boiling point of water is 100 degrees Celsius. Normal body temperature is considered to be 37 degrees Celsius. And the accepted comfort level, or what we refer to as room temperature, 20 degrees Celsius. And lastly, you have the freezing point of water, 0 degrees Celsius. It is recommended that you memorize these values that I have just mentioned. Now, take note of the following. There is a difference between temperature and temperature difference. By convention, for both Celsius and Fahrenheit scales, we differentiate temperature from temperature difference in how we write down the units. For temperature, we write down the unit as degree Celsius or degree Fahrenheit. But for temperature difference or temperature change, we write down the unit as Celsius degrees. Again, for temperature, degree Celsius. For temperature difference, Celsius degrees. This is by convention and we will be very strict with this, so please be warned. Now, when two objects have the same temperature, they are said to be in thermal equilibrium. For a system in thermal equilibrium, all objects in the system have the same temperature. And now we move on to thermal expansion. For most materials, take note, most materials, not all, but for most materials, expansion happens when temperature increases and contraction happens when temperature decreases. Now, say you have an object and you increase the temperature, the temperature of the object, the object expands. Now, even though there's only one object expanding, we can measure or analyze the expansion in three ways. 
when you look at how the length of the object changes, you have linear expansion analysis. The length may be literally how long the object is, or it may be the radius of the object, and so on. When you look at how the surface area or cross-section area of the object changes, you have area expansion analysis. And of course, when you look at how the volume of the object changes, you have volume expansion analysis. First, let's look at linear expansion, wherein we compare the initial length of the object, initial length L0, and the final length of the object. The change in length of the object is equal to the initial length times the coefficient of linear expansion times the change in temperature. Delta L is equal to L0 times alpha times delta T. Alpha is the coefficient of linear expansion. Unit is per Celsius degree or per Kelvin. It's a property of the material itself. Each material has its own value of coefficient of linear expansion. Next, we have area expansion analysis. Again, in area expansion, you look at how the surface area or how the cross-section area of the object changes. There are two ways of going about area expansion analysis. You can look at linear expansion and use it to calculate the change in the area using geometry equations. Or you can use the following equation. Change in area is equal to initial area times coefficient of area expansion times change in temperature. Delta A is equal to A naught is equal to coefficient of area expansion times delta T. Again, delta A is equal to A naught times coefficient of area expansion times delta T. Where the coefficient of area expansion unit per Celsius degree or per Kelvin is a property of the material. And it's related to the coefficient of linear expansion. The coefficient of area expansion is twice or two times alpha. And next, we have volume expansion analysis, wherein we look at how the volume changes. There are, just like area expansion, we have two ways of going about volume expansion analysis. First, you can use linear expansion analysis to calculate the change in volume using your knowledge in geometry. If the volume is known, you can also use the following equation. Change in volume is equal to initial volume times coefficient of volume expansion times change in temperature. Delta V is equal to V0 times coefficient of volume expansion times change in temperature. The coefficient of volume expansion is property of the material. The unit is per Celsius degree or per Kelvin. And it is related to the coefficient of linear expansion. Beta is equal to 3 times alpha. And that's it for now. That's it for thermal expansion. In the next video, we will cover the concept of heat energy.